Jason from Blue Weather bringing you the latest tropical update. Uh, this is Tropical Storm Isius, and uh, I'm going to break down uh, some of the model data to show you what the data was showing this morning. What you see here is the cone of uncertainty, but as you know, if you don't know much about the National Hurricane Center's cone of uncertainty, the wider portion at the end, the hurricane has been narrowed down to that area, but it could go anywhere in that area could go out to sea could just brush the coast and not even you know make a landfall just you know go up the edge of the coast or could fall anywhere from georgia to virginia uh so we'll just have to uh monitor this as we get closer but let's get right into the model data here is the gsf model from this morning it takes it just east of florida comes up the coast and comes really close uh, to Outer Banks and Emerald Isle that's just a tr tropical storm and maybe even falling down to the tropical depression at that point uh, here on the GSF model but this model has actually been way behind the game uh, so far with this system so I don't know if I put a lot of trust in it at the moment this is the GSF parallel model. It's done a better job. It also shows a very, very, very close call uh, with uh, possibly in the eye getting really close to Emerald Island Outer Banks of North Carolina as a uh, Category 1 hurricane. And that would be on uh, Sunday night, Monday time frame on this model. The Canadian is the one that's kind of been way out there uh, as far as making a its own little forecast here. You can notice the low down here. It shows the low uh, coming up through Florida, up through Georgia, then coming you know further inland, inland. Now, what that would cause, if you had a scenario like that, the Mid-Atlantic up in here uh, between now and this weekend is supposed to get... Uh, in the I-64 corridor and uh, it's supposed to get one to four inches of rain between now and Saturday morning. What that would cause if you had a more inland approach like this Canadian model and it's due to a stronger cold uh, front moving in if it would that this model is trying to suggest but it would might would cause some flooding problems because the rain bands would be further inland and maybe hit those areas that got one to four inches of rain between uh, now and Saturday. So that might would cause problems in the mid-Atlantic there. This is the Navy model. It's also a little bit further inland than some of the other models. Uh, and it shows a Category 1 hurricane hitting just near uh, Wilmington Top Sail Beach area. Uh, like I said, these are just models on an individual run. As we get closer, we'll have a better idea. Right now, it's kind of widespread. Some of the we're looking at either an out to sea, barely grazing the coast, or maybe possible, you know, a possible North Carolina landfall. You know, can't rule that out yet. It's all on the table still. This German icon model also shows possible landfall with a very strong tropical storm, almost hurricane category one right there uh, in North Carolina. This here is the HWRF, which is the hurricane model. And it's actually from the last run, just a little bit further inland and uh, you can see the eye where that L is getting uh, pretty far on land just west of Emerald Isle. So that would wreak a lot of havoc, uh, havoc in Emerald Isle and out of banks if that were to happen. And that, you know, so we'll have to watch this closely. I'll have more videos. I'm also on Blue Weather on Facebook. 
uh, do even more updates there if you want to follow me there guys you have a good one